As promised, here is the top five Steve Carell movies, and it did not take very long whatsoever, guys. On this. And it's very clear that Steve Carell, who became a star later in his career, has a much, much better IMDb than Steve Martin. He's made so many good choices in his career. Some bad. He makes one choice. He's always like the lovable loser yeah. underdog. Not well, always. it's always I, I'm not a dad. always. I'm a I am going not to always. prove you wrong. I'm a dad that wants to get back into the dating scene. Exactly. That's, that's <laughs> one move. That's Come it. On. Okay, you After guys, he gave up on least. being funny, well, that was the well, move. All right, let's what? find out how many Steve Carell movies you've actually watched. If mm. you think that that is his one trick. I've seen quite a few. It's what he's known for, Mike, but you're right. I understand. Yes. Yeah, the incredible Burt Wonderstone begs to differ, right? Go it was ahead. a terrible, that's a okay, terrible movie. No, he's movies. got sinkers in there. Dinner for Schmucks. I'll admit I've seen no Steve Carell movie. Really? That's, sure. that's impossible. You, you have. You that's have. Impossible. You have. just don't realize oh. it. That's Wait, how old time. are you? <laughs> How old are you? You definitely saw Ryan know. Gosling in Crazy Stupid Love. You had I to never saw it. Crazy Get stupid out of here. Never saw you're, doing a, you're, you're doing a thing. You're Everyone doing saw a that thing. one. I never saw it, and I love Ryan Gosling. You're not you, missing. Now I'm gonna go watch you it. haven't yes. seen the salespeople <laughs> IT people meme? Look at me. You're not missing anything. Ah, oh, no, that's oh, not true. Oh, you're dating my daughter. Oh, you're dating my it's wife. Fine. Like, oh, shit. I tend to trust well, yeah. Amin's opinions on things. He, All right. He usually points out when things are Cro stupid. Crossing out one of my two OLIs just from. <laughs> Jeez. All we need is uh, the mean whiny voice to it's go to. Yeah, it's I'm not going to do that. No, crazy, stupid love. I only need one OLI. Unless he was in a Dan Brown adaptation, I haven't seen it. We're going big <laughs> short. OLI. Excellent. Great movie. Should be numbered. Oh, a lie, huh? What? He's had a really hey, good career. Hey, hey, he a... forgot he was in it. No, it was what, a great ensemble. What are That's we... the thing yeah, with him. You forget he's in probably, serious movies. He's probably like the main character. The big huh. short? Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. Christian yes. Bale's the main guy. No. no, Christian Bale in terms of screen time? Tell me you haven't seen him no. without telling me. I've Dude, okay. I, I knew you'd show your ass. I just didn't no, think it'd be this haven't. quick. I got I to gotta say, I think he counts as a bus driver in that movie. I mean, mean, well, well. I mean, for sports terminology, yeah, he wasn't or, riding the bus; he was driving the bus. Yeah, driving the bus. I, he's a he's a bus driver. Yeah, that he's a bus driver. It was when um, was it Shaq was saying that uh, was it Durant mm -hmm. that he said it wasn't he's the bus not driver. Yeah. Bus. So I think that you can't be an ancillary character and consider it your movie. So I I would give him bus driver status for that picture. He's a bus driver. He he set everybody else up. He he kept the movie going. All right, keep going. Exactly. All right, mm -hmm. but that's all I. Mike, he was five. a leader of the crew. Like he shorted, yeah. he shorted the market, one the real of, estate market. One of. He was one, yes. Of. Yes. one of. Spoiler. Uh, alert. By the way, the person that Christian Bale played in that movie in real life has shorted the stock market. He bet one point six billion dollars we're gonna have a stock market crash. To which I say, I thought it did crash. So, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> number five, a movie that I don't think a lot of people actually saw, mm -hmm. and this goes to Billy's point that he's, he's just got one pitch. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. If you've seen this heartbreaking film called Beautiful Boy that put Timothy Chalamet on, on the radar, that and his devastating good looks, uh, you'd know that this is a great, spectacular film. And Steve Carell actually has a lot of range, but my number five is Beautiful Boy. Huh. That was what I was going to name my um, autobiography. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still can. All right. shout, out, yeah, shout, shout out to movies that no one has seen nor heard of. Not true. I've seen it. I have. Excellent yeah. picture. Not a lot of people do know about Beautiful Boy, and more people should. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as to say Mike recommended it because it is truly heartbreaking and it'll hey, it'll crush you. Got Tony, gotta call it a picture. Good work. Yeah. Call it a picture if you're if you're serious about your films. Number or if you four. want people to believe you saw it. Great picture. <laughs> I no, I saw it during the pandemic. <laughs> it's a it's a really good movie. No, 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 Mike. Film. Okay. Picture. Film. picture. Cinema. Yes. Yeah. Cinema. Uh, number four. I'm curious to know how many people saw this movie. I think he got award acclaim for this. Uh, like he got, he might have pulled a nomination or two from this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based on a true story. Foxcatcher. Yes. Yes. I, I thought that was gonna be your number one, to be honest. His performance in Fox uh, Foxcatcher is, is deeply is troubling. It's, yeah, it's, it's about the wrestling. The Dupont like yeah. weirdo uh, who, yeah. who had like the, he is. the wrestling team at his house, but he's kind yeah. of a weirdo. And that's what I was gonna name my autobiography. Yeah. Foxcatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Still works. Yeah. And that's where the parallels stop between <laughs> your tale and that one. That is a deeply troubling film, too. Number three. Now, if you would ask me six years ago, what's my number one R-rated comedy of all time? I might have said 40-Year-Old Virgin. I don't think it's aged well. And that's funny considering The Jerk, I think, is actually aged better. But 40-Year-Old Virgin, for its time, was a fantastic movie. Made him a bona fide box office draw. 40-Year-Old Virgin, number three for me. Kelly Clarkson! 
Yeah, there's so many pop that culture was such moments. A st- stupid scene. Oh, you're getting your your chest wax hurts. Oh, you poor little baby. Uh, I'm, let me tell you. So you saw a movie. Let me tell you. So he's supposed to do the one. Let me My favorite scene is a young Very Ke- sensitive. a young Kevin Hart with Rami. Oh, yeah, that's great. a great scene. Like, don't Very be sick. don't be a ninja, be my ninja. <laughs> oh, what the ninja the ninja's here now. You know how many times getting dressed for football games the tie has been brought up <laughs> wearing that t- yeah, that's <laughs> It's a great it's a, it's a great locker room line <laughs> at a football locker room. Uh number 2 an absolute classic which probably for many not the daily show this film put him on the map mm-hmm. uh, and allowed him to carry a film like 40 year old virgin anchorman nah one of the most quotable roles in i that. mean that's bus a bus driver, driver. yeah bus, bus driver. driver no he's a, he's he's riding the bus on that hold film on, very clearly on. but <laughs> hold on riding the bus on that film but also for for 40 year old virgin let's be clear here he's playing the role that yeah. Really talked about like, oh, I'm just a guy who's down on my luck. Yeah, yeah. but he's not he's not doing that in Anchorman. And, he's and, but, one of the no, more but, outlandish but I'm saying, characters. Forty year old virgin, for me, the funniest things are everyone else. It's yeah. Seth Rogen, yeah. it's Jane Lynch, it's Romney Malco, it's everybody else in that movie. Yeah. Kevin he's Hart. understood, kind of, but to be a straight he man, plays a straight man and, and to be yep. in, to to play the role with heart and for yes. you to root for him, yeah. Like, yeah. he does a great job. Sure. It, and once again, to my point, range. No, like, do, he, uh, no, he doesn't have range. That's my point. Yes, he does because look at this nah. list. This is all rangey. Do you, do you like? This to, is the first time that you can actually say he's playing the role that you think he only plays. Do you like to do it yourself? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say that line. The. <laughs> I don't get the criticism that Billy is is um, filing here, that he does the I'm same role. Him. Like I, it, you so put me on let's Billy's put, team. I'm put with the, Billy. Put the argument aside. Mm-hmm. I'll accept that it's true, even though Mike has obviously demonstrated that it's not true. I'll accept that it's true. Who cares? Like S- Steph, don't dunk on people. Like That's okay. He like shoot the hell choices. out of them threes, so that it's no, pretty it's, good. Show some not, range. That's I, all he's saying. No, I don't like his choices. That's all I'm saying. He oh. decided I want to go from making you laugh to making you cry every five seconds. Like, yeah, you know, what's I that don't, about? I don't need to cry. I have my own life. What's that about? <laughs> and, and by the way, other than, <laughs> you other have your own problems. I have my own life to cry. <laughs> I have my own life. I'm sorry. <laughs> other, other than uh, I don't, I haven't seen Beautiful Boy, so I can't speak to it. But Foxcatcher, yes, range. But everything else you put in there is just like him stupid. You're literally what everything else that I put in there. There. There's an obvious. You number said one that half of my say. list. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what's a well? Then if there is an obvious number one that you don't think I have, well, I would love to hear your Where number you one minions. first. Yeah, that's true. That's range. That's what probably what's generated the, him the most money yeah, too, absolutely. outside of everything. I think, I think minions, his greatest role. Probably, probably his biggest money maker. I mean, the Office had to make more money. No, well, that's the thing. No. Office is not even on this list. Yeah. Because it's not a film. He, I appreciate. So I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate the opposite of Billy. Like I like the range or people trying to do different things. Billy seems annoyed that he's trying to make you cry. It always makes me kind of think about who is the most talented performer. Period. Like, don't put anything on it. It's like you I always think it. of Eddie Murphy. No, Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. Is Jamie Fox is yeah. a good. There's uh, nobody close to Jamie Fox in terms of most com- talented comedically, like a comedian. Dramatically, like a drama actor, musically, like a music, like he does it all. Yep. There, nobody comes close. No, there's no conversation there. There's I mean, uh, there's pro- I, well, we'll put together a top five like most talented people to ever <laughs> exist. Most talented Eddie Murphy's performers is great. Ed- uh, let me give you my actual number one. Number one, uh, we say that he he switches from making you laugh to making you cry. I think in my number one film, he he accomplishes both he has a dry sense of humor in the first one, and he's at uh, at the heart of some of the more uh, Heart wrenching parts of this film. I absolutely love this movie, Little Miss Sunshine. Beautiful film. Picture. Yeah. Picture. Obviously, a, a great picture. <laughs> Again, <laughs> not because of him, though. I forgot he was in that. Exactly. See? Like, it's not. No, Greg Kinnear is a dad. It's, it's, he it's, comes in after a, a failed attempt at, at suicide, um, identity crisis. Gay comes into this family that he's estranged from, and they all have to come together to get uh, their daughter uh, into this beauty contest and uh, it's it's just a fantastic movie. It's a fantastic movie not because of him though. He's he's he needs I, a supporting cast. It's, this, I mean. it's the fan It's a kid. great ensemble. It's, it's uh it's my man uh, the old dude whose name escapes me now. Well, I confuse him between he and his son, Adam Arkin and Alan Arkin. Arkin, yeah. Yeah. There you go. R. Like R. they're the ones who carry that movie. 
Yeah. But like he's just there. I, like, I feel like you pick movies. Paul that Dano's he was there. also yes, fantastic in that film. Yeah. But Paul Dano has a, has his best scene with Steve Carell in that movie. I understand that this is an ensemble, but I was just putting together great movies. Okay. All right. I wasn't putting together my favorite Steve right. Carell performances. If I was putting together my favorite Steve Carell performances, you'd say Beautiful Boy, you'd say Foxcatcher, you'd say Minions. But, <laughs> but uh, I was actually putting together his best movies. And I think on merit, Little Miss Sunshine is his best movie. Will Smith on this most talented. No, uh, most no. talented. I mean, well, yeah. What are you looking for? Most talented I'm just performers? For most talented performers. Like the person, I think Jamie Foxx is the bar right now. Yeah. Where's Deion Sanders? It, wow. Mm, he's we up where, there. He's up there. He's in the conversation. The, must be the money. We know uh, where Jordan is. Multiple, <laughs> multiple sports. Not on this list. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> what? You, you rated him list. in Space Jam? Yeah. <laughs> Ice Cube. No. I mean, I'm just throwing it. No. Where is this? Just you're gonna want to walk that one back lately. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to. Uh, did, you my boss boss the did you see Roy said to investigate Maui on his head the other oh day? My gosh, that's ridiculous. Um, is it just my own personal bias? Where are the white people in this Where most are talented? The, Neil, Pat- that was, uh, Neil the Patrick thing. Harris. Neil Patrick Harris. Is that's good. that's a women also. Though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Where are the where are the white women or women in general? I not yeah. just white Queen women. Latifah. I mean, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah's up there, Chicago. right? Like musical, Mama. musically, comedically, uh, dramatically. Like yeah. checks all the boxes. Yeah. Queen Latifah. Yeah. Dwayne I, the Rock Johnson. Ooh. Where's his music? Oh, Moana. Moana. Yeah, that's right. Well, he doesn't sing that part. He sings. You're we're welcome. going down Vin Diesel's <laughs> path if we're doing just that. Oh, all right. Well, when Vin Diesel headlines multiple WrestleManias, we can talk. He doesn't have time. <laughs> I, I I saw I haven't seen it because I've only seen one Fast and Furious movie and that's Tokyo Drift. But someone said Why? because that's just how that's it is. That's the one. That's the one I saw. But uh, I, said, I, it, I was over in Europe and I finally saw I think it's eight the street race through Havana Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> that is Malecon. <laughs> that was. I get it now. I I had actually stopped watching around five, Uh-oh. and I circled back yeah, and I is. caught eight the beginning. That was incredible. You missed the Brazil one where they have the uh, no. I saw that, that one. one's incredible. Yeah, the the, the, safe, yeah, the safe is like six hundred thousand feet one. tall. I want to know most talented performer, and I don't know how the categories are for for this, but you have to be able to, I think, make people laugh, mm-hmm. make people cry. No. And oh, make yeah. people dance. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm just I, saying I, drama. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. What, I, that's what you meant by drama. I'm sorry. So yeah. comedian, actor, singer is what you're... Yes. I, I'm, I'm thinking that's it. Is there another thing that I'm missing? Is there some other... Like, originally the term triple threat meant like you could also dance, right? Like you could dance yourself. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think it's that's... Involved. I feel like we're good on that. Yeah. Like, we don't, we don't, need, we don't need to see you dance no, anymore. not really. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing is important. Yeah. Laughing okay. is I think that's the hardest one, so, right? like, Lady Gaga is out. I w- yeah. Yes. I mean, I think that's the hardest one to achieve. We could find a lot of people that I think could sing and act, mm-hmm. but make us laugh in some way is a real tough one. And I don't think you get bonus points for being incredibly good at one thing, because I feel like somebody like Beyonce, incredible live performer. Like, I think she would pass people a lot of there, but you can only get 10 points there. We're, we, this you is, can't get extra 12. We're looking yeah, for a decathlete. She was pretty funny in Gold Member. No, she wasn't. Hmm. And she, I'm Foxy Cleopatra, and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a terrible movie. So you can't be dominant at one. You, you need to be kind of steady it. all I'm the just, way through. I'm just thinking to can cut off. Can you be off. bad at one if you're good at two? No, you have to be good at all three. You're okay. saying you're cap. You yeah. have to cap be, at ten. You can get ten, but you can't go over ten. But, to then this, but to me, you down. also you can't be bad. At, if you're bad at one of them, you're out. So, for instance, in the break, Dom said, what about LL Cool J? And I said, but he's not funny. He said, well, he had a sitcom, but he wasn't funny in it. So he's out, right? Like, you have to be, there are minimum standards you I have to I had a crush hit. on the girl in that one. I forgot her name. What's her name? I don't know. I think. I'll get back to you on that. It was a tragic story, I in, think, connected well, with that. Or I might be confusing her with the, the girl from Family, Family Matters, Matters, who also shares my last name, Judy Fox. Winslow? Oh. oh. Hmm. I have a question for you. When you say funny. I don't know her, though. Mm-hmm. I mean. 
What what type of funny are we talking? So you don't necessarily have to be stand-up comedian funny. Because you could have funny roles written for you. That doesn't mean you're funny. But yeah, you got to be able to deliver it. You got to deliver like, it. So like, like Leonardo DiCaprio is not a singer, so he's not qualifying this. But right. he's had funny roles while not being in the comedies. But see, no, you have to have been in comedies. It's not like a funny line. You have to be Can comedically pick a funny. Can I hmm. pick Judy Gemstone? <laughs> She's bad at everything. She sings. She dances. She's not funny, she makes though. makes me laugh. She, well, she's yeah. not funny on purpose. She uh, cry. Yeah. I think um, I'm sticking with Eddie Murphy and Jamie Foxx. I've I, got a list. I've claim. got a list. Top five? Yes, I have a top but five. But you have Eddie Murphy as a good singer? He's a good singer. but no. like, But that's where he falls off from... From, uh, well, that's why I'm asking. I you could be great at two if you're okay at one, right? Okay, like, yes, yeah, but okay. you can't be bad. Right. At, yeah. at some I guy. think Eddie Murphy's like a six, five, six for uh, like musical performer. Mm-hmm. We give him five, six. He's, I think he's ten for both others. All right, give me your list. All right, you ready? Oli, Jack Black. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. That I don't. I don't. Can I he mean, make you cry? Yeah. yeah, he's had dramatic roles. I, I understand, but is he, but is he really good at it? I, I think he's he's done well in his dramatic roles. Yes. I also don't really, and maybe it's just a brand of comedy. I don't find Jack Black all that funny. What? Yeah. Same. Yeah. I don't love the Jack Black with you. Uh, what? brand of comedy. He does you. seem a little one note. Yeah. Like his Steve his move, Crow. like I, it doesn't. It's his list, though. Yeah. yeah. It's his <laughs> list. We put well, together a list. He's not. He's not on the list. He jumped on Mike's list. So. All lie. All lie. He's all lie. No, he's but uh, like Jack, I find Jack Black really funny, and it still it still kind of works. But the act is getting a little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't like, know. let me see you do something new. Well, he did. He did some. He did some heartfelt stuff there. So, number five. <laughs> I feel like you really offended me. I you got real, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you crushed him with the Jack Black criticism. I love Tenacious D. I do. Don't we all? Number five. No. <laughs> hey, yo. Eddie Murphy. At wow. five. At five. At five. Wow. And the reason why is because. Party all the time. I know. I love that song. God knows. Like, <laughs> it's probably somewhere in the argument. I'm not going to make you search What's up it. with you? That too. Yeah. Featuring Michael Jackson, right? Um, but yeah, the, the music part just doesn't, isn't quite there. Dream Girls is actually probably his greatest Musical performance, obviously, given that it's a musical. Um, I think James Brown, uh, Jane Brown. What am I doing right now? On, what James there? Brown's hot tub. Uh. <laughs> I know him as Jim. We're we're tight. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, P. Oh, yeah. All right. What's next? Number four, Neil Patrick Harris. Pretty good. MPH man. Uh, okay. He hosted the Tony Awards and stuff, man. The dude sings. He acts. He's funny. I, I can't get behind him being ahead of Eddie Murphy. I think that he does magic. I, I is, think I think. Ooh, wow! Because here's the thing: he's so not. So does Chris Cody, though. This is <laughs> good point. This is like the decathlon, right? Okay. I'm not. This is not like me saying he's faster than Carl Lewis. I'm right. just saying when you factor in everything else, I, I he's mean, better than Carl Lewis. We, I might have to give you make you give me scores because I feel like Eddie Murphy is gonna get him on the numbers just because he, Eddie Murphy's obviously. Perfect for comedy. Neil Patrick Harris, uh, I mean, Doogie Howser. Hold on, How now. I Met Your Mother. Uh, he no, got no, albums out. Wait, I mean, oh, hold on, hold Neil on. Neil Patrick Harris, is, hey, we're not, not talking. Better. We're not talking about stand up comedy. Obviously, stand up is the highest level of comedy, but comedic roles? This dude, hey, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I'm in the mood for burgers. Fur burgers? No? Okay. I see what kind of audience Where's Da Vinci? I'm Where's Da Vinci? <laughs> Leonardo. I don't get the reference. <laughs> you don't get art? <laughs> <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Does Neil Patrick Harris sing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like on stage, yes. like like Broadway. He don't, okay. got, no, he don't got no albums. Sorry, though. jeez. What, name a, name a Neil Patrick me. Harris song <laughs> that go as hard as party all the time. Not one. Mm-hmm. He ain't got a nail bop. Mm-hmm. Nail bop. Yep. Number three. Hugh Jackman. Also bopless, but all right. He, he make you laugh. He's in a lot of musicals. Dude. Yeah. Movie 43. That's all I'm going to say. Watch That's a Hugh Jackman. Movie. Watch Hugh Jackman's part. This is an unfortunate list. I mean, He's I love you, but. Just his part? I mean. Yeah. 
This well, list is going to watch the movie. Ter- the movie's terrible. This so. is going to end with like Zoe De Chanel number one. Hell or something. no. <laughs> number That's two. Where this is going. The Queen. Queen Latifah. One of the early crossovers. Yeah. From I music to acting. Mama's good to you. I, li- I like that. That's musically where you went for Queen Latifah. You and I, D-Y. Hey, that's my guy right here. <laughs> that's my brother. And, yeah, you're my brother. And then number one, of course, this is the gold standard. There's not, I, No one can ever give me a name better than this. Jamie Foxx. Because Jamie Foxx is everything. When you say music, I make hit records. Right. Uh, comedy, I was a, not only a great stand-up comic, but had my own hilarious sitcom, and was on one of the greatest Let sketch shows ever. And then, obviously, dramatic acting, Oscar-winning, Oscar-nominated, etc. Are you et talking cetera. about the real Jamie Foxx or the clone Jamie Foxx? <laughs> there is no clone the, Jamie you have to Are argue, you sure? You, you have to argue that the clone sure? is even I'm more sure. talented than the actual Jamie Foxx exactly. because the clone has to pretend to be Jamie Foxx. Exactly. Fox. Let me say this. Double acting. If you think Jamie Foxx is a clone, you and Jennifer Aniston can take a hike. <laughs> right. I really like this Take lane that you're leaning in, too, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> Just being me. Take a hike. Do you the side-by-side actually... face comparison is startling. You're... So is the Brady one, though. <laughs> He's coming back. Um... You actually tell people to take a hike, or is this like show of mean tells people to take a hike? If somebody really pisses you off in your real life, hit them with take a hike? No, I tell them to go f*** <laughs> off. Oh, no, that a boy. Mark it. Can't say that, but that a boy. But I could say, I could say suck a d-. Oh, God. You can't say, say, say that. That's the answer. Can't, we can't say no. I think no. we should like that. No. That's Whoa. Whoa. That was that. Yeah. We're believing that on no. the pod. Oh, eat it? That's super. No. no, you can't say eat the it. The burger was questionable. No, as well eat it's earlier. fine. No, you can't bop mm-hmm. it. You can't do anything. Whoa. Twist it. But you were yeah. you were throwing it around. You were Whoa. throwing. Yeah, but I'm I was calling say. people. So I wasn't talking about like oh, yeah. twisting it, bopping it, hmm. pulling it. Yo. <laughs> Wait, so you can call people. You can stop. leave the Content. show like that. We're not, we're, we're, I guess we gotta we gotta stop saying it yeah. now. Correct. According. Yeah, because you opened up the portal to it being sexually suggestive. Just well, it's not. It's, that's portal. not a Those sexual are... suggestion when someone says eat a. The consume. jerk this is a good movie. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, mean, I don't like that. I think it's good when like we pull it. back the curtain on these philosophical conversations. Now. Philosophical. Yeah, like, like when you tell someone to. Uh, Consume. So, uh, the I think it's there's Logan Paul on this list. It's <laughs> boxing, mean, pro wrestling, influencing, Pokemon trading card, energy, energy, energy drinking. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Same note too, bro. Drake is great. Drake should be on this list, right? Drake. I mean, musically, yeah. Comedically, no, but yeah. people are laughing at him. No, nah, but still. What has I mean, he done comedically? Tony, he did tell t- me the last time Drake made you laugh. What are you honestly. talking about? When? His freestyle with Central C, we said combination. Yeah, okay, that was funny as hell. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Then he, I know he, you don't. That's why I Then he hosts uh, the ESPYs and yeah. like did skits and sketches yeah, between. That, that Where is really Jim like... Thorpe on anyone's list? Who? I mean, seriously. I was going to say Peyton Manning. Ron Say. <laughs> ah, the Penguin. <laughs> Say it ain't so. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> get get uh, Notre Dame. The shark. Get Drake out of here, man. Why? Uh, because, like, you can't do. Hey, I showed up for a a sketch, a sketch. It has to be like. He's consistently he, funny. He doesn't and you ha- know it. He doesn't have a track record. You gotta have a resume. His whole IG. What are no, you talking no, about? No, that's not Doug. We, yo, we're talking about real industry. Uh, then, we're not then talking. DJ Khaled is on this list. Exactly. <laughs> DJ Khaled. Also, should be probably on the list. Never made me cry. Mm. That's true. Yeah, that's that's not, no Steve cry. Carell. I'll tell you that. Ooh, tell, what about the weekend? <laughs> I'll tell you, God did. Him and the idol. <laughs> he, was, he was incredibly funny. He's got good music. <laughs> tell me that again. <laughs> no. Tell, tell, tell me no. that again. No. Oh, close the portal. Close the portal, the please. Portal that portal is wide open. It's gaping. Oh gosh, I hate it. Well, careful, I, I, careful. Not in the idol. What's I can't John say. Elway. Ooh, good one. Good golfer. Yep. Good baseball player. He actually didn't have an ACL. What? Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, him and Heinz Ward, no uh, ACL. Beneficiary. Can't and, carry. Uh, and Dewan Blair. No one remembers him. He's an average GM, though, when I was. What a great yeah. team that yeah. Heinz Ward team didn't was. have two ACLs. How did and I not know and that? while he while he played pretty well, and you didn't notice Heinz Ward two knee replacements. God. Also, Dewan Blair. Yeah. He punked out Hashim Tabit on the biggest stage. 
I no? can't imagine what Heinz Ward's knees look like now and what they're going to look like in the future. Play Wait, without he, an ACL. So he had an ACL, he, but he like lost broccoli. his no. bicycle action? He didn't have – when he played, he was ACL-less. <laughs> he broke broccoli. his knee. But also, he was also a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, he's a tough dude. So, just to be clear. Your list is trash. No. like oh, I thought that's what you wanted. No, were. I wanted clarification. I can't say Furburgers. You d- <laughs> <laughs> The security at NFL Films must be immaculate. I've thought this for a while because they mic up players. And as you guys may or may not know, I once played professional football. And I know. Yeah, it's true, Tony. It's true. No way. You could probably play. I think you could survive a snap or two. Look, man, I would have been great at holding a clipboard. Just stand on the sidelines. I got the physique for it. But the thing is, it's a great job. Asses, it's the know? best job in, in order sports. In order to yeah. hold a clipboard, you got to survive. You got to show that you can survive on the field for at least a couple snaps. And right. I think I think you could trick people. I think you could get I, it. Call I, me I, a screenplay. Yeah. Quick screen and shotgun. You I'm think Tony could out. trick people? Yeah. Chad Henney in a playoff game drove 98 yards. That's Chad, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're not expecting. He's the best of the best. I'm yeah. sorry. We yeah. don't need Tony to drive 98 yards. We just need Tony to just hit a five-yard out. And then they're like, all right, he's good. Then you go hold that clipboard. That's it from there on out. Anyway, I've been in a lot of football games, a lot of football practices, and a lot of things are said. And we never get, like, the footage that's thrown away from NFL film. So, like, I watched Hard Knocks last night, and that's a NFL Films product. And, obviously, we watch all the mic'd up things, all NFL products. If I told you the things that are said out there amongst coaches about players, amongst players about coaches, amongst teammates about opposing teammates' girlfriends and wives and families, and none of this stuff ever gets out, they have the most serious security in the history of anything. I think I know what you're talking about because there is something that is considered the holy grail of lost footage, and it's never gotten out. You remember that game? It was an awesome game between the Carolina Panthers and the New York Giants, and Josh, peak Josh Norman and peak Odell Beckham oh, Jr. Yeah. were going at each right. other. You want the footage? There are the legends told of what was going on in the field that day. They were both wired for sound. <laughs> yep. Never got out. Someone it, has seen them, though, right? Oh, of I, course. Yeah. Yes. I someone, someone has seen them. So yeah. I, from what I heard, some burned the tape because <laughs> it is bad. <laughs> and, like, all the people that have access to these tapes, we, like, see security footage around the country from different places leak out. We see all types of stuff get out. Things get out of the White House, for goodness sake. We got UFOs. What? No. What? Yeah, I don't know. UFO videos have been leaked, and yet we still don't have NFL Films videos. I thought, Mike, you were going to talk about the Mason Rudolph uh, incident. In oh. the There's so many incidents where we don't have the, the entire story. I well, mean. like, they, they just, they legitimately burned the Patriots practice footage that they got from the Rams walkthrough. They yep. burned that to yeah. make sure that it would never go out. Jay Glazer has said that he's seen it. I, yeah, I, I don't of know how they do this, <laughs> but they do. Uh, also have a crack security team and also do an incredible job of production. I'm hooked on. They may scrub what I said about Josh Norman wow. and Odell Beckham. I don't they think it's, I don't think it's on the podcast. I think people who are listening right now are confused <laughs> at what we're referencing because NFL film staff She's parachuted a dial in. Tone going right now. How much would you pay for the dirty version of NFL films? Wow. Like uh, if it was a monthly subscription, I'd tell you eighty bucks a month, but you get to hear 80. everything. It'd be more than that. One hundred and fifty bucks a month. Would you pay it? I mean, it'd be so interesting. <laughs> I'll wait for someone to make a TikTok about it, and I'll just watch it. There. Well, I mean, no, they're barred from TikTok. It's you can only get it here. There's no such thing. But you've heard some of this, Dominique. So, oh, is yeah. it worth it? Is it worth 150 bucks per month? I mean, it's gross and it's great. There's people who are incredibly funny, and we. I had a game in Denver one time where there are certain lines that you don't cross, and obviously one of the big ones is the racial thing uh, across races specifically. But I had a time where we always like stand up for our teammates. We had a time where the defense of the other team was like trying to fight our offensive line when I was in Denver. And so then we start acting up too. And then one of the defensive players on a special teams player was like, nah, your lineman used this particular word. 
And then it all stopped. They were like, oh, fair game. I don't know what team we're on now. We're rooting for you guys to win. It doesn't matter. Why don't you shut them down? Because there's certain lines that you don't cross, but some people are willing to cross it. And I'm sure all of them are crossed. Was that, that was the NFL that at one point said that they were going to like crack down on black players' use of the N-word. That was the, the NFL, right? They backed off of that because that's absurd. I like 70-year-old referees like, hey, Watch your mouth, young man. <laughs> Throws yeah. a flag. <laughs> Illegal use of racist terminology by black man. Determined by 70-year-old white man. <laughs> yeah, why don't y'all chill out on it? I, I can't imagine anybody was more mad about that decree than the referees. And the referees union meeting was like, come on, this bullshit. Don't make me, don't make me do this. <laughs> this bullshit. Don't, don't make me do this. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I know that Stu is hooked on Hard Knocks, and I always well, try Well, just to, this year, I mean. Yeah, I yes. know. I always try to avoid Hard Knocks, but I've got hooked on it, too. I watched the last episode. It came out last night. I will say that I've been critical of Aaron Rodgers in the past, but this Hard Knocks thing, I'm a sucker, man. They it's making me. him look good. Ah, I mean. Man, they got me. They did a whole segment last time on how accurate he is, how amazing he is. These fools did a segment of the show on how great his play action is. Yes. Like, he, he will deceive you. The, their meeting, they played a game. So they're in the, the play action. Yeah, they're in the quarterback room with four quarterbacks, and they're making the other three try to guess <laughs> if it's a run or a pass. <laughs> and they had no idea. I've never been on – and maybe this is what it's like to be a, a, like a star basketball player, but I've never been on a team where a, a single player was this revered by the rest of the team – it's awkward. They all treat him like a god and a king walking on earth. It's it's and it's like antithetical to everything that football like ever has stood for. You have uh, I think it's McCall uh, McCall Hardman. Is that yeah. the name? Yeah. Played for the Chiefs. I think he's won a Super Bowl. Yep. Right. Like he's won a Super Bowl yes, and he's we sitting all know there. Who that is. What's who? that? We all know who that no, is. No, I didn't Not know. If, I didn't know teams. if I was pronouncing his name correctly. Yeah, That's yeah, all. Nailed it. And he is sitting next to Aaron Rodgers, like he has won a Super Bowl. So he's won as many Super Bowls as Aaron Rodgers, and he played with Patrick Mahomes. And he's still saying, "Hey, I can't wait to tell my kid I'm playing with Aaron Rodgers." They it's all, crazy. It's everyone in the organization, from the coaches all the way down, treat him in a way that. And I've played with Hall of Famers, like. Three or four of them. Yeah, John Lynch, Champ Bailey, Ed Reed, and Ray. Ray, And then probably some future Hall of Famers. Haloti will probably get in. Sizzle might get in. And no one has ever been treated the way Marshall Yonda will probably get in. No one has ever been treated the way. He's one of the greatest guards ever, Marshall no Yonda. Oh, he's an Iowa guy. <laughs> Justin Tucker gets in, yeah? Oh, I yeah, didn't play with in. Justin Tucker. First ballot, I would say. But he gets in. Yeah. yeah first ballot? No, first kicker's ballot. not going in first ballot. He's the greatest first kicker ballot. ever. Mark Mosley with an MVP. Not, well, he's going to go first it ballot. All depend, it all depends ballot. on the class. For me, he is. He's the greatest ever to do it. But he's I, they don't want to do that with kickers. Uh, Mike, they gave the, uh, a kicker in the 80s an MVP. I understand. So a first ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, I understand. Uh, and he wasn't, if you look at the sets, that kicker short, wasn't even that good. Strike short in season. Yeah, he's not even a Hall of Famer. That uh, <laughs> that kicker wanted to be. He was for Washington, I believe. I forgot his name. But Mark yes. Mosley. Yeah, in strike 60 short years, season. they're going to be like, Justin Tucker, well, he wasn't even, Justin Tucker wasn't that good. <laughs> like, oh, you guys see, he only kicked like 60 yarders like twice. It wasn't that good. They're going to be 80 yarders by then? Uh, yeah. It is it is fun to see just how much a guy like Aaron Rodgers can change an organization. Yeah. I'm not saying they're going to be good once the regular season comes around. I am I'm conditioned to think the worst for the Jets, but it is nice to see that guy strolls in there and everything has changed. Yeah. Like Salah looks better as a head coach, Zach Wilson looks better as a backup. Everyone looks better because Aaron Rodgers he is wasn't there. Wasn't even that good of an opera singer either, if we're being honest. No. Because you this compare. is what we're saying in 60 years. Oh, okay, guys, it's not you. Triple threat, right. Justin Tucker. Mm. Justin Tucker's on performer. Ooh. Triple threat. Might be the guy. Triple threat, opera singer, football does know, kicker. Uh, does he know judo? <laughs> Jiu-jitsu. Oh, well, uh, he does. Can he? Who wins in a fight? Him or David Akers? Ooh. Let's. Ooh, can that be on the next Jake Paul card? Wow. <laughs> I would buy it. <laughs> Gotta go, Tucker. Got to go Tucker. Never bet against Tucker. There are legends told of David Akers. I've heard, but, I mean, I got to go Justin Tucker. Uh, so the Hard Knocks, also a star from last night. We talked a bit about magicians yesterday. We learned that Chris Cody goes to Magic Camp. 
Um, Went to Magic. Camp. Nope, 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 nope. Still going? Still going to Magic Where Camp. Where he's at right now. In my world, <laughs> Chris Cody, every summer, he spends at Magic Camp because he loves it. It's whimsical. Uh, we also saw a mentalist yeah. who got offended if you called him a magician. And he's a guy that if you watch like the pregame NFL shows on ESPN or something like that, you'll see – they did a piece with him when he was with the Ravens one time, I think, and the Seahawks one time, and he just, like, reads your mind, supposedly. I don't know how the trick works, but I don't buy into that. It's not working on me. But, Stu, how would you feel about it? All I know is Aaron Rodgers at one point thought he had a deck of cards in his hands, and what he had in his hands was a goldfish. <laughs> I no mean, way. A goldfish. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to watch it tonight. There's yes. no way. A goldfish. A goldfish. Yes, a goldfish. So he's holding a deck of cards, Yep. and then he's like, look at it again. The mentalist pulls like, out the card that Aaron Rodgers was thinking about, just the one card, right? Just the one card. He nails that, and he says, Aaron, open up your hands now, and it's a goldfish. The cards are gone. Can Swimming? Mind-blowing. No, uh, no. It's, it's actually uh, like a goldfish in encased hand. in yeah, plastic, in kind of. Yeah. It was weird. Can I give uh, an assignment? to our youngest and most internet savvy people? Lucy. Sure. Yes. Okay. The mentalist is obviously not reading minds. I need you to do a TikTok deep dive and find how he's doing his trick. There's gotta be somebody out there snitching on mentalists. I need to get to the bottom of this. Don't ruin the magic tricks for me. I like magic. I like this still. Don't ruin them. The but, guys were blown away though. Like they couldn't believe it. And as soon as I saw the guy come out, I recognized him from other uh, NFL locker rooms because he's done this before. But the guys were so excited, so shocked, and I guess I would be too if I saw it. But I also just it's something about the tricks, the magic tricks that I feel comfortable with, that the mentalist feels like wrong to me. I know he's not actually reading my mind. Like David Blaine. Yeah. There are times that I watched David Blaine that I was like, that's the devil. <laughs> hey, shout out to the prestige. I thought you were going to say, shout oh. out to the devil. Hugh <laughs> 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 Jackman. David Blaine gave up on magic, right? He doesn't do that anymore. He does like. I think he's in Vegas. <laughs> Oh. He's like yeah. He's got a residency. Yeah, I think does. he's actually like, leaning into it. I'm gonna stay in this ice block for 16 days, and it's like, oh, okay, sick. Nobody asked you, but sure. Yeah, I'm good on that. So one of the things, one of the units that got criticized, the only unit was the uh, offensive line last night. Like Sally gave it to him, good. But there's a report this morning from Armando Salguero that the uh, that the Jets are about to acquire David Bakhtiari. Yeah, Ooh. Resorts World. Oh. Resorts World. Did David he? Blaine show. How much are tickets? There's a video. Over Illusionist David Mark Blaine Burns injured during. Prices. Is that off the strip? Injured? I mean, he's on Resorts Pup? World. It's at the end. Oh, okay. It's nice. Blaine's on Pup. P U P. P U P. Oh man, tough. P U P. Shot in face. Oh, is that? Could you try to catch the bullet? That's a tough hey, one. Yo. What? No, he dislocated his shoulder. Oh. Uh, Quinn Williams, bullet? monster. That's the real only important takeaway. 